Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and as you can tell from the background, my outfit and of course the title, today is my first Christmas video for 2018 and I'm doing a Christmas wish haul. Now I absolutely love Christmas so for every Tuesday in December I'll be uploading a Christmas based video and I thought what better way to kick it off than with a wish Christmas haul. So I went on to wish and bought a bunch of random Christmas items. Some of them are fast fashion items, some of them are decor, and some are just really random that I just kind of couldn't stop myself from buying. But without further ado, let's open up some Christmas items from Wish. This is the first item and I am very excited because this is a fashion item. And this is the first item. As you can kind of see, honestly it just looks like a blanket the way I'm holding it, but it is actually a Christmas cape with a hood. So you just put on the hood, tie it up, and kind of look like Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, yeah, very interesting. <laughs> it's actually made fairly well. It's just like a Halloween costume material, which is what I expected it to be since it's kind of like a Christmas costume, living out our best Mrs. Claus life. So I'm going to put together a nice red outfit and try this on fully. It is a little bit shorter than the one that the model wore, although I think that might have been my mistake. I think there were a few options and sizes and I chose the shorter one because I presumed that was the one the model was wearing. I was incorrect. Clearly it wasn't. But let's try this one on and see how it looks. Ta-da! This is what the cape looks like on. It's definitely given off those Little Red Riding Hood, Mrs. Claus kind of vibes. Has a hood as well. The hood definitely doesn't suit me. I look like a lost child. So I would wear it off, but I thought this is kind of cute. Maybe for a Christmas party if you wanted to be that little bit extra. I don't really know when I'm going to wear it because I would say I would wear it out like if I was going somewhere Christmassy. But it is currently 35 degrees Celsius and it's only the first day of summer. So I don't think this will get much use with me. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. Next up is a bit of a random item. Sorry. I'm very interested to see what it looks like. And this is what it is. You may be wondering, what is this? Is this a sack to put presents in? It is not. It is actually a toilet seat cover. I just... I know it's so stupid, but when I saw these on Wish and they had so many different sellers advertising them, I was like, isn't that hilarious? Like, imagine someone comes over to your house and like, where's the bathroom? You're like, oh, it's just through there. They go and look and then this is sitting on the toilet seat. I thought it was amazing. It's actually pretty good quality as well. I thought it was going to show up so small and all like fallen in little bits, but this is actually pretty damn cute. So let's go into my bathroom and see how it looks on my toilet seat. Is that a little bit weird? Yeah, but it's Christmas, so we're in the spirit. Hey guys, we are now in my bathroom and I'm going to show you my toilet, which is a sentence I never thought I would say. But the toilet sleeve actually fits and looks hilarious in my opinion, so let me show you. Ta-da! Wow, this is so strange to be showing you my toilet, but I mean, how Christmassy does it look? Doesn't really match the whole uh, black and white vibe we have going on in this bathroom, but it is definitely very Christmassy and fun, so it fits, still functions like a normal toilet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave that on there. I'm not gonna tell my family it's there. They can find it for themselves, so I hope they like it. <laughs> This next item I got is another fashion item, but not in the way that you would think. Let me just show you. It's going to be the cutest item in this haul, I can guarantee. This is what it is. It is a little hat and a little scarf for my cat. <laughs> now I have a pet cat, he is almost 10 years old and I love him so much and I wanted him to be in the Christmas spirit too. You know, I have my Christmas cape, he should have his Christmas hat and scarf on. He's gonna hate me as I try to put these on him but let's go find my cat firstly because I don't know where he is and put these on him and see how cute he looks and if he likes them. He's definitely not gonna like them but we shall see. I found my cat took quite some time because he was hiding. But this is my cat, Charlie. Okay, yep, he's clearly very happy to be here. I've been trying for quite some time now to get this Christmas hat and scarf on my cat and he does not want it. So I'm just going to place the camera down and you guys will be able to see for like a split second what it looks like on. Pop that on. Uh, uh, there we go. That's what you look like. Beautiful. Oh, 
Okay, needless to say, the cat's a bit of a grinch. Also, the scarf is a little bit small for my cat. He's just like normal size. He's not fat or anything. So I wouldn't do it up with the Velcro because I would worry that I'm choking him. He also hated the hat and the scarf, but he also hates everything. So yeah, I was really aiming a bit too high to hope that he would happily wear a Christmas hat and a scarf, but you win some and you lose some. This is the next item and it was the first to arrive. And this is the item. It is very squished. As you can see, the box has been through a lot. It's lived a difficult life, but it is like an outdoor snowflake projector. This box doesn't sound too good though, like. I hope that's not broken glass, but let's open it up, make sure it's not broken. Okay, it's not broken. The thing that was jangling around and making so much noise is the adapter. So what was actually really good about this is on checkout, it asked you where you were from so that they could send you an adapter for the plug. So it looks like an EU plug, is that? EU, maybe that's American, I don't really know. It's not Australian, so they have an adapter so you can plug it in and it'll work. But this looks to be good, so let's go somewhere where I have a little bit more space to show you guys what it looks like, plug it in and see if this works. We are in my room, it is really dark in here. You can't tell because this camera is amazing <laughs> in low light. But we are in my dark room because I've just set up the projector and it works. So let me show you what it looks like. Ta-da! It's projecting snowflakes all over my blind. I have it on my blind and not on the wall because when it's on the wall, it's kind of hard to see. I didn't realize that this was going to be white. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten a different color. I feel like I'm in a music video. Like, The Way by Ari. I feel exactly like that with all of these on me. If only I could sing. That would make it feel a little bit more realistic. But anyway, I'm very happy that this works. I was very nervous to plug it in because I was worried I was going to electrocute myself. Like, how trustworthy was this adapter? But it was okay. Nothing happened. And now we have this, which I think I'm going to leave on in my room. Or I might put it out the front of our house but it's just so cool and gives us such Christmas vibes and it was also cheap. This next item is some Christmas home decor that is so tacky that I love it and it is these table legs. They are little elf shoes that you put on the end of your table so that your table looks like it has elf legs. I told you guys it was tacky. It's a typical tacky Christmas thing that I love. I mean, is that not gonna look so cool? It comes with four, so one for each leg of the table and I thought it would be so cute. These are also, I mean, they're not amazingly made, but pretty good. It's just like Halloween costume material. It's definitely like a gimmicky product, so it's not the best material, but I thought they were gonna come broken, fallen apart. So I am very happy with these. Let's head up to my family's dining room table upstairs to put these on and see how it looks. There's been a bit of an issue with the table legs. I underestimated how heavy my dining room table was and I can't lift it to put the little stocking things on. And even if I could, I actually think they're a little bit too small. So I have improvised and I put them on this chair. As you can see here, my cat's loving it. But it looks okay. I mean, actually, it looks really cute. Like, that looks so cute for Christmas. But it is a little disappointing I couldn't get it on the table. So if you were thinking of buying this, be aware they run very small and won't fit on my table. But they will fit on my chair. The next item I got on a wish is this right here. And it is another home decor item. And it's definitely not what I expected. So far this haul has gone really well, but these aren't what I expected. But it is some snowflake uh, decorations. So this is probably the best way to see what they look like. They're just little snowflakes. And in the photo, it was a bunch of them connected on a string, but they've sent them all individually packed. There's also so many here, which is good. Better to have too much than not enough. So it looks like you just put it together yourself, which is totally fine, but it's not what they advertise. These are what the individual snowflakes look like. They're pretty cool. I it just, it's a craft product, obviously. It is just disappointing that they don't come all tied up together because I really thought that's how they would. So I guess I'm going to go through and tie all of these individual snowflakes. I mean, there are at least 50 here <laughs> together and I will check back in with you guys. It is a lot later in the day now and I have finally finished this silly annoying snowflake uh, what would you even call this decoration 
Honestly, it doesn't look very good on a string. As you guys can see here, I don't really like it. It was so fiddly as well and took a long time to do, especially with uh, my fake nails. So I actually think that this doesn't look that great as a decoration like this. And I mean, it just looks a little bit sad. I know I only did one, but that's because I knew one was enough. I think instead I'm going to leave these individually and maybe on Christmas Day put them all on the table or something like that. I think they'd be better off like that instead of like this where it just just doesn't look good. Overall this decoration was definitely a bit of a fail. Don't recommend this one. <laughs> and that is the end of today's video and of the first Christmas video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below what Christmas videos you do want to see on this channel. And if you want to see more of my face or some of these items in action be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I'll see you next time. Bye!